Today is Thursday, December the 10th, 2015, the time being 8.38 a.m. Central Time or Charleston, Missouri Time. This is my 88-year-old World War II veteran dad, Johnny A. Ivey, Sr., uh, here in Charleston, Missouri, in our home. Uh, I'm interviewing him again. I interviewed him on December the 7th, 2015, uh, uh, speaking about his history here in Charleston, Missouri, and in the military. So happened on uh, April the, I mean, December the 7th, uh, back in 1941, that's when the bomb was dropped on Himashima. That's from World War one, I mean, two begin, and my dad, he was in part of World War II. But I, I left a few things out when I made the first one. It was called Charleston, Missouri Activist Interview, His uh, World War II Veteran Dad. And this will be part two. Okay, Dad, uh, well, what? tell him what your name was at birth. At birth? Talk a little loud. My man Edward was John D O H N John A I P. And the A stood for what? Nothing? A stood for nothing. Okay. Yeah. And when and, and when you was drafted into the military in nineteen forty five in World War Two, what did the army do with your name? Um, well they changed it from John A to Johnny. To Johnny A, J O H N N I E. I E. They, right. the, the, the government changed your name. Okay, what I wanted to ask you is a couple of other things we spoke about. We spoke about a lot in the first interview, but this interview, we, we was talking about Lincoln High School. Who was the principal at Lincoln High School here in Charleston, Missouri? when you went you did go to lincoln high school right right who was the principal there when you went to lincoln high school uh c c f bowden c f bowden right was he black white puerto rican or Jap japanese or what uh, he was black oh he was black that's correct and that was, was that a, a, a mixed school? Was it segregated or integrated? It was not a mixed, it was not a mixed school. It was so it was segregated? Mm -hmm. all, all black. Mm -hmm. All blacks. Right. Did you all have a choice to go to the Charleston Consolidated Schools? Or did you only have one choice at the time that you was going to school when you was coming up, what did you have uh, uh, the, another choice to go to another school, like to a mixed school, or the only choice you had was to go to Lincoln School in this area that you stayed in? Well, I only had one choice, uh, one choice to attend Michael High School. I only had one choice. Now, your mother, your mother' maiden name was what? Ruba Scaife. Sluter Scapes. Correct. And your daddy's name was who? Barry B. Ivy. Barry B. Ivy and Lulus. Barry B. Ivy was your biological father. What did your father do for a living? He raised, he worked there as a sugar cropper, raising cotton. Raising cotton. Right. You remember the farm that you all were staying on when he was raising the cotton? Here in Charleston, Missouri, or in the Pinhook area, or what, you know, in the area of uh, Charleston, Missouri, you remember what farm you all was living on? Uh, Baker's, uh, Baker's farm. See, 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 uh, Baker's, Baker's farm. He was, he was a mine owner. And, and where was he living at? Do you, do you know at the time when y'all yeah. was living on his farm? Uh, yes, he, uh, the main owner built in St. Louis, Missouri. St. Louis, Missouri. And who did he have running that farm? What was his name? Brown. 
C.C. I believe C.C. Brown. C.C. Brown. Brown now, back to the Lincoln School, because I want to let my other family know, no, before I go there, what parts of uh, the country was you going to and what parts uh, uh, of the world did you go to when you was in the military, when you was in the Army? I would tell you, uh, in the book, I spent most of my, I spent most of my, of my time overseas in the Philippine Islands, different parts of the Philippine Islands, San, San, San Fernando, Baguio City, Go ahead, Dad. Rubble, Rubble City. Okay, now where else did you spend time at? Any other countries? No, those are the only uh, countries. Wait a I minute. Spent... Wait a minute. Now you spent some time in another country, uh, wasn't you? Didn't you? No, no only the. Uh... Well, the Philippines is that the same as Japan? No, I, I, well, uh, I never, I never did on time. I was in Japan, but I didn't spend no time in. The oh, thing. you didn't spend time. You, you was in, you was in Japan once. Though. I was in Japan once, but I never, but I didn't spend any time there. Do you know you have a nephew, your sister Thelma Alford, uh, as Thelma Ivy Alford? She has a son by the name of Don Alford. He's a professional musician in Japan that lives in Japan. Been living there for some decades now. Uh, did you know that? Oh, no, I did not know Why that. don't you say hi to your, your, your nephew, Don? Hello, Don. How are, you, how are you doing? Okay. Now, Don's mother is your sister, right? Right. What What is her full name? What was her name before she got married? Belma Ivy. And when she got married, who did she get married to, and what did her last name become? Her last name become Alfred. And what? Who? Was she, who did she marry? Who was your brother-in-law? H. A. Hines Alfred. Now, what I wanted to ask you was, did your sister Thelma Alfred go to, a uh, Thelma Ivy go to uh, uh, Lincoln School, where you all were segregated to go? Yes, yeah, she did. She went. To she attended Lincoln School. She graduated from Lincoln High School. She graduated from Lincoln High School. What did the Lincoln High School declare about her that was special? Uh, she, Say uh, it she, loud so people can hear you. She received the fellow Victoria saying that she was the most smartest student ever to attend Lincoln High School. Did you hear that, Don, all the way from Japan and all of my Aunt Thelma siblings? I, your mother and my auntie was the smartest lady in Lincoln High School in her era. And who was the who was the principal there? C. C. F. Bowden. C. F. Bowden. Right. Do you know the Lincoln High School? This the part that's left of Lincoln High School is named after its name now the C. F. Bowden Civic Center. Mm -hmm. Ain't that something? At least somebody thought about him, didn't they? Right, at least uh, that's wonderful. You know, at least somebody thought about him. We not gonna say too much more because I want to try to, you know, just keep these parts going. But what I was gonna ask you when you was in the military, what what part? I mean, what was your what was your job? I mean, what was I mean, what companies was you in? So some of your veterans that's still alive that may live listen to this, they'll know what companies you was in. What branch was you in first? Was you in the Navy, the Army, or what? Uh, Army. The United States Army. United States Army. What, 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 what was your company's? It was called 143rd Chemical Motor Battalion. 143rd Chemical Motor Battalion. Battalion. Yes. Before that, you was in another uh, uh, company, and what was it? Fourth, it was called Fourth Quarter Master Training Company. Okay, then. That's all good, Dad. I'm not going to hold you too much more, but I just want to let people know they may talk about the little meal that you feed. They might even say I'm starving you, but this is your meal of choice for breakfast, isn't it? It is. That's correct. And okay. this, this meal of choice for breakfast, what do you have here? Tell them what you got here that have that been keeping you for 88 years looking good. Tell them oh, loud. Liver, liver sausage. What else? Liver sausage, hard-boiled eggs, and, and crackers. 
Hey, what type of crackers? Off. I tried to get you some some generic crackers. What did you tell me to go get you? Nabasco crackers. Nabasco crackers. Nabasco wrist crackers. You ain't going to have it no other way. His son couldn't even bring you no generic stuff, could he? Right. <laughs> what else you drinking? What you drinking there? Coffee. Coffee? You like it with what? Cream and sugar? Uh, coffee with cream. That's like Maxwell House coffee. Okay, Maxwell Heim got me buying that expensive stuff. Yeah, cream and sugar. And then it looked like you got something else. What you putting on your liver cheese there? A liver sausage, whatever it's called. My name. My name. My name. Now, who do you stay with, uh, Dad? Right now, I'm living with my son, one of my son, Raymond Lewis Ivy, and uh, with his two daughters. And what are their names? Let's see if you can remember it. I know you're 88, but if you don't remember it, I'll help you. Go ahead. Let's see. Bird, uh, Birdie and Queen. Birdie and Queen. Who is Birdie named after? Birdie was named after, after my wife, Birdie May Ivy. Okay, that's right. That's right. Look at that. You got it right. I'm going to end this right here, but I want our family to know that the Ivy has, the Ivies in Southeast Missouri or in the state of Missouri has a good name. We, we, did we have preachers? Your dad was a preacher, wasn't he? Yes, he was, huh? Your, your brother, uh, Ernest Ivy, he was in the Korean War, wasn't he? Yes, uh huh. Some of your dad brothers was in the war, wasn't he? Mm -hmm. Correct, Ernest Ivy. He was... And, and then one of your, one of your nieces, Connie, da Connie Ivy Davis, she was in the uh, National Guards Reserve. So, so the military and, and preachers and missionaries run in your family, huh? Is what you say? Yeah, that's, that's correct. That's in the Ivy and the Skates family. We have a good name here. The Bible says it's better to have a good name than riches. Right. There's a lot of people that's trying to discredit me, Dad, but I know you don't, I know you don't see anything bad about me because one thing about me, Whatever I did 20 or 30 or 40 years ago, what I'm doing today is what count, ain't it? That, that is correct. Yes. They said the first would be the last and the last would be the first. Right. And right. they say the end justified the means. I'm That's proud right. to be able to have my 88-year-old dad here with me. Still That's alive right. and well to tell our history. Tell all the family and friends you say hello and keep God first and stay strong, dad. Yes, I wish to say hello to all my, all my friends and all of my relatives, all across who live in different parts of the United States, as well as some lives in lives overseas in the Philippine Islands as well. And I would do like to say hello to, again to all of my relatives and friends. That's all those that still are living alive in the United States, as well as some that also live overseas in Japan and as well as and I also as well as in the Philippine Islands. Thank you a lot, Dad. And if you had anything to tell them, who would you tell them to keep first in their life at all times? Keep Christ, the Lord Jesus Christ in their life at all times. Let always let God come first because He is your creation creator. He is the cause of you being alive. He is the cause of you being alive. He is the cause of you, be, of you living, you know. Okay. I, I thank you, Dad. And, and, and uh, it, was, it was one of the verses that you always say, uh, God is, is good and what now? God is good and his mercy endures forever. I like to say amen. Go ahead, Dad. What did you say? Thanks be to God. Okay, I'd like to say amen and thank my dad for this interview because tomorrow is not promised. I want all our family and friends to see the Ivies, no matter what they try to say about us. Charles, Missouri, the Ivies have a good name. Those that's trying to attack the Ivy name here in Charles, Missouri, you check their background and their family background and see what they stand. The Ivies don't seek after money. The Ivies seek after souls. Ivy seeks after to try to help one another and try to make this place a better world to live in. God bless y'all and peace be still.